Hello everyone. So let's continue with our employee class. Now I have declared here if name equals to main. This name is going to check for this particular module. If this module has a main declared, then whatever we are going to execute is going to be executed using this main. Now this help, this if name equals to main will help when we are going to import this particular class or this particular file as a module in another class so only this particular employee class is going to be imported not all this definition so this is helpful when you are going to execute this particular file so that this name this main will execute when you are importing this file in another or when you are trying to import this employee into another module then this main is not going to be executed there. Their main is going to be executed that we are going to in that particular file. But if you forget or if you try or if like if you are not going to write it like this and we are going to create particular this objects then what's going to be happen it's still executable throwing an exception because of minus one it is still executable and we are getting the output but when we are going to import this particular class or this module into another class or module in that case this statement is also going to be imported and we when we try to execute that particular program this statement is going to this also going to be executed so this will not is expected so that's why we are doing the practice to write main in like this to execute our program okay so let's continue with the our two methods that we need to declare that is raise salary here we need to raise the salary of the employee by given parameter percentage increase and self dot salary is equals to salary plus multiplied by percentage increase so this will increase the salary and the another method def annual salary so this method is going to return the salary of employee so let's see here print name print e dot current salary print e dot annual salary so this will print name salary so let's check what will be the output we are getting an error 
old style invalid employee ID. I need to set it for one. I'll just clear it so it will be more clear. Name Amit salary 1000 and annual salary is 1000. So annual salary will be the multiplication of 12. Now the annual salary is 12,000. Now if I am going to raise the salary, raise by 20%. then I need to call that method e dot raise salary by 20% so let's see that formula where I have put there is correct or not salary is 20% uh, which means that is divide by 100 now it working fine so let's see print raised salary now if we see the raised salary is 1200 and uh, annual salary so let's see how much is the annual salary now the annual salary is raised by two by 200 rupees per month and 2400 2, rupees in a year so we have almost completed our employee class now we need to implement the basic functionality that we are going to look in the next session